Well, welcome to another edition of Ogg's Blog. Uh, you've probably noticed that there hasn't been much going on in the last while, and as you can see from this tree behind me, we're right in the middle of <coughs> holiday season now. So the reason for my absence, unfortunately, was that I spent all of November and a bit of December in a hospital uh, with complications from uh, an injection of myoblock, which is a botulinum toxin, which was given to me to relieve spasticity in my neck, which it did, but unfortunately it had side effects, and the side effects were that it affected my swallowing, and then because my swallowing was affected, um, I had aspiration, which means that things that shouldn't go in the lungs went into my lungs, and that gave me um, aspiration pneumonia, which was very unpleasant. So I was, I was in the hospital for over four weeks, and I suppose it started out fairly dramatically, including a helicopter flight to Philadelphia, uh, but that's all behind me now, and uh, I'm, I'm feeling good again. So what we're going to talk about today is some, some various aspects of home automation. And just to demonstrate what we're doing, you see the lights on my Christmas tree, which are, in fact, plugged into my system. So they're all controlled by my iPad. So just by touching the off button, the lights will go off. And touching the on button, like that, the lights will come on. Now, one of the uh, great things that happened to me in the hospital, there was a very nice uh, occupational or recreational therapist who helped me do some writing. So I've actually written up all of this stuff on home automation because there's a lot of stuff on it and some things get just a little bit complicated, but we've written all of that up and that's going to be on the website as well. So, as I said, I've got all of the lights on, uh, on home automation and they're all controlled with the... Uh, with the iPad, I've got a little app on it. Another nice thing is that I've now got um, an iPhone as well, and I can have exactly the same app on my phone as on the iPad, which is what I've got. So I can control things not only from my iPad, but from the phone as well. So let's turn those lights off again and on again just to show that it all works for my phone. So that's nice, uh, because having, uh, having redundancy is really good. One of the problems of automation is, as I describe it, anything more complicated than a rock breaks at some point. So having a bit of redundancy between the iPad and the iPhone uh, makes things a little bit easier, just in case I drop something, which I quite often do. So all of the lights in the house are on the um, iPad, so I could, let me see, I can just do it very simply. Um, one of the buttons here is for all lights, so if I just turn all of the lights off, then in a few seconds, if I've got it right, everything should dim down. There we go, all the lights are going off right now, but we want some lights on, so let's just put them all back on. Or, as well as turning them all on, of course, I can control them individually. Um, there's just a shortcut for all, all the lights rather than the individual ones, which makes life easier. 